at you? What kind of uh, trick the enemy tries to throw at you, whether it be lust at her women or lust at her money or lust at her things of this world? You can conquer that with Jesus. Do you hear me? You can conquer it with Jesus. You have to have the blood applied to your life. You have to be. You must be born again or you will in no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven. Do you not get that? You must die that he lives in you. Do you understand? You must give up your will that his will would be done in your life. When you do that and you're a new creature in Christ Jesus, you won't want to do the old things. You won't want to go the old places. You'll have no desire to do that. You'll want to do godly things. You'll want to be busy about the work of the kingdom. You'll want to be trying to uplift people, not divide. You won't be trying to tear down. You'll be trying to build up the kingdom of heaven. And you're known by the fruit that you bear. You're known by the fruit that you bear. The tree's known. If it's got an apple on it, we call it an apple tree. If it's got an orange, we call it an orange. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so maybe some of your moms tonight can help answer that question. Maybe some of you dad ministers tonight can help answer the question. Uh, you know, is there ever a, 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 you know, I'm talking about leaving children now. I'm not talking about leaving, you know, children that's adult and grown. Some people, you know, still right there. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when parents, you know, leave their children when they're, you know, five to let's say 16 or 17, you know, just leave. Is there ever a good reason? Interesting. To me, there's not because my dad left and I know what it caused bitterness and it opened doors in my heart and things. Of course, after I got saved, I know and I forgave my dad and now we talk and he's welcome at my house and we have a little bit of a relationship, but, uh, but it's not what it could have been. It's not what it could have been. And then when you move on to this, you know, my mother, you know, she told me she thought about having an abortion uh, because my dad was unfaithful. Uh, he was, you know, running around with different uh, girls in that time of his life when my mother uh, was pregnant. So she thought about it. How can I raise, you know, a young and by myself? He's not a dependable guy. He's not going to be around. And sure enough, he wouldn't, <laughs> you know. But thank God she didn't abort me. And thank God she kept me because I've met some wonderful brothers and sisters, some wonderful friends. Uh, God's blessed me. I've got a wonderful family uh, with eight grandchildren, uh, nine. We, we got one adopted herself. Uh, we just uh, love to death. And uh, I've been blessed with good good uh, son-in-law. Me and him's had trouble and uh, differences in the past. I've been blessed with good daughter-in-laws, uh, even though we've had trouble in the past. Uh, all of my daughter-in-laws, all three of them, uh, have, you know, just been good to me and Pauline. Uh, now, they've had their differences between my youngins, you know, but me and Pauline never took sides. We encouraged them to do uh, the right thing and do the best they could, you know. Okay, what about they lead them at birth? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, like a newborn baby, you mean? Like leave them at the hospital? They do that, don't they? People do that. I mean, I, hey, there's even cases where people have uh, had their baby at home and, and and just put them, you know, and leave them. Uh, you know, I can't, you know, I, I've stood by my children. And, and, you know, when they were little, I never, I couldn't imagine leaving uh, you know, my children. And a matter of fact, there was incidents in, in my life growing up with my wife. We was married and uh, had uh, two youngins, and we was uh, uh, talking about splitting up. And I told her, I said, you know, it don't matter what happens, you know, I'm going to be in these youngins' lives, and there ain't another man or nor nobody can keep me from my youngins. Nobody. They couldn't do it. I will show up. I will be at the door. I will bring them clothes. I will feed them. I will pay for them. They're mine, and God gave them to me, and they're a blessing, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my responsibility because I love them, and I love my children. And, uh, you know, so I'd love to hear from different ones. You know, uh, you can call in tonight and participate live, or you can call the uh, uh, pre-recorded line and leave your pre-recorded message. We're going to get over there and play that line just in a little bit and see if we got two or three I, I i think brother boyd's called in and uh, we want to share those he's faithful to call in i want to be faithful to share those amen but you can call in live if you'd like to participate right here in the studio 
right now, 1-931-484-4531. We'd love to hear from you, especially the men, ministers and women, ministers of God. Uh, you know, that's just like they lied on me and said I didn't believe in women ministers. And, boy, that caused, you know, a little big stir, and I lost, like, uh, 12 or 14 friends off Facebook. I lost listeners off the radio, got hammered with uh, letters in my home mailbox. And I said, that ain't even what I said. You know, I said, the Word of God will stand. The question was, can a woman hold a position, or should a woman hold a position of a pastor or a bishop? And I said, no, the Word of God reads it out. Nope, they shouldn't do it. And man, see how the devil will twist things? (laughs) <laughs> but we pray for them as they waved by and told me they didn't want nothing more to do with my program because I was of the devil. And uh, I said, well, I'm praying for you. But I said, we can't change the word of God to suit our situation. You know, the word of God is the truth. <laughs> uh, amen. Let me check the chat room here. As a mother, Sister Rachel says, I cannot imagine leaving my children. Uh, God, give me my babies and I would die. The second, uh, die this second for both of them, both of mine. Amen. That's called laying down your life for a friend. Now, I know that, you you know, their scripture talks about you got to be willing to leave your mother, your father, you know, uh, all that. But all that's done in order. You know, you don't take a, a five-year-old baby, you know, and hit leave its mommy and them and just go out in the desert. I mean, you know, we're not talking about that. And you don't take... You know the 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 responsibility of the woman, uh, you know, to just take a five year old baby and throw it in a garbage can and say, "Oh, I'm going to go serve God," and throw the baby in the garbage can. You cannot convince me that God told her to throw the baby in the garbage can, and she's going to go off and, you know, obey God and find herself. Come on, come on. Did God give her the baby just for that? Come on. And uh, you know, like the next one here talking about abortions, you know. When 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 is a when is it right to have an abortion? Now I know women get raped, and I know there's diseases, and I know there's all kinds of things that we're not in control of. But when is it a good time to have an abortion? We'd love to hear from you. Love to hear your thoughts. Love to have your scripture. Love to for you to share the word of God with us as we go. Let's see if we can find that song. We're going to spend a few moments worshiping the Lord. Uh, can't remember okay well hold on just a second i know it i'm old you got to pray for me what was the name of it down by the river <laughs> down by the river i i know it i went blank then it come then i went blank then it come i mean what are you gonna do <laughs> Ain't nothing we're just gonna pray amen i don't know if this is the right one but we'll see. Well, it might not play. So, anyhow. No, something went bad wrong there. My, hold up. Let me see if this will play. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, I truly feel that God gives children that are not wanted for those who are not able to have them. That's a good thought. That's a good thought. Amen. That's a good uh, a good point. You know, some somebody may bear the youngin' and then don't want it, and then it it finds its uh, home through the love of adoption or something. That's a, those are those are good thoughts. Uh, that's a lie from hell. Uh, God give me down to the river. Uh, amen. The truly feel that God gives children. Uh, babies and I would die the same. Okay, man, down to the river. Okay, down to the river. <laughs> down to the river to pray. <laughs> Amen. I know it smacked me silly and called me crazy, but uh, I can't help it. Sometimes I get happy and get plumb beside of myself, you know. I do. I mean, it's just that way. I can't. <laughs> it's better felt than it is told, ain't it? Amen. So, uh, Okay, down to the river to pray. (laughs) 
Well, it ain't. I hit it. It ain't coming up. All right, here it is. Hold on. We got it now, I believe. Well, maybe maybe we don't got it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you, Jesus. You're so good to us. Amen. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, sisters, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, sisters, let's go down, down in the river to pray. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the Amen. Praise God. All right. We're trying to multitask again. I know I'm not very good at it. We need the queen of multitasking out of Ryan G, Mississippi. Hold on. <laughs> I've done it. See, that's what you get for trying to multitask. You get uh, interrupted. I'm not a good multitasker. No, I'm not, as you guys can tell. I'm not too good at it. But I'm going to practice, and maybe with practice in prayer, I can get better. Amen? <laughs> All right. Uh, praise the Lord. Um, okay. You know how the programs work. Uh, from now on, you know, we're just uh, sharing. Let me go check the phone line. Amen. I was supposed to have done that. What is an I? And I didn't do that. So let me get over here and see... All right, I'll play this song. What time we're getting the music up and out? Let's have a little church in the kitchen. What do you say? Raise your hands up and praise God. Well, she started her mornings with the old King James and a good strong cup of coffee. Church like church in the kitchen. 